There's a whistle to end an exciting night here at Beaver Field. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another After 90. Mary Papadakis alongside Gareth Wheeler. 2-2 draw for Toronto FC against Sporting Kansas City tonight. Now, Gareth, it has been a frustrating two matches for Toronto FC after outplaying both of their opponents and coming away with the draw in each match. And, and tonight, the frustration was taken up a couple notches, and it was just decisions decisions not going Toronto FC's way. And this is seemingly how things work when you're trying to grind out some results. You're down some players. It seems like some Sometimes it comes at you like an avalanche where just simply nothing goes your way. And tonight it was VAR and it was refereeing decisions. The first penalty that was given up, I think the referee would have never made that call initially if he knew that a foul was committed inside the area. He went to VAR, a player went down very soft. It's a foul that Drew Moore said to me that he does thousands of times over the course of his career and he's never called for it. For me, it's never a penalty to begin with. That decision goes against them. Then if you want to get into clearing obvious and that's how VAR is really supposed to be used. The referee looked at the second contentious call that came in the second half that led to a penalty seemingly forever. Look, it was 50-50 in terms of contact. Nick DeLeon did make some contact with the attacking player but was it clear? Was it obvious? Not for me. Two penalties and that's in the last two games three penalties conceded and three goals given up by Toronto FC in similar fashion. So um, very difficult pill to swallow for Toronto FC. Knowing you outplay played your opponent and these decisions didn't go your way. We saw Ryan Telfer make a return back to Toronto FC today. Can you talk a little bit of his performance? Well, it's pretty incredible as Greg Vanny told us post-match that he just told the team today, the same day, <laughs> that Telfer was going to be recalled from York 9 of the Canadian Premier League. And Telfer's done very well on loan in the Canadian Premier League, and he just gets called up. And that's kind of life of a, of a footballer. Whatever's thrown you your way, you want to be prepared uh, to, to really kind of make an impression whenever you can. Comes on in the 87th minute and showed remarkable composure. Good running behind the back line and played the ball into Jordan Hamilton. Ball goes in the back of the net. Equalizer. Uh, Telfer's a really good guy, a real hard worker, and you just feel thrilled for him in that moment that he's fit, ready to go, and was able to co contribute at such an important moment. Now, Gareth, looking at the full 90, what is Gareth's game changer? It's going to be Alejandro Pozuelo. He played that ball in behind to Ryan Telfer. It was a spectacular ball. Just kind of gave him the eye, told him to go. They've never played with one another before and up until then. So uh, an immediate Stella connection. Chemistry. Yeah, between Pozuelo <laughs> and Telfer. And Pozuelo's ball sent in Justin Morrow. I thought JMO did really well to set up Nick DeLeon on the first goal of the game, but his Pozuelo's ball, his ability to play in behind the lines, that really was the game-changing player in providing those moments over the course of tonight's matchup. For you, Maria, who's Maria's man of the match? My man of the match tonight is Nick DeLeon. You know, scoring the equalizer in the first half for Toronto FC, the amount of ground that he covered tonight, I think he was just spectacular. And looking back at the last game, scored another equalizer for Toronto FC. So you've really just seen his growth here as a player. He played down the left, he played down the right, exactly. he was all over the park, and he's always going to give you a, an honest shift. And last week in Vancouver, he didn't start. And the fact that he was one of the two changes, two players to come into the 11, and he made such a positive influence on the match, the controversial penalty notwithstanding, it just shows you the type of reliable player exactly. that he is for this coaching staff. Now, the next time Toronto FC will be playing will be against FC Dallas on June 22nd. The next time we'll be back here at BMO Field will be on June 20. Now, for all your Toronto FC updates, make sure you keep it locked in on torontofc.ca.